up everybody welcome back to the Oak Tree Football channel and in today's video I'm going to be ranking my top 10 quarterbacks in college football. For the past uh, while I've ranked my top 10 quarterbacks in each of the Power 5 conferences so today I'm going to uh, put all those lists together and make, rank my top 10 in college football as a whole but I just want to say it's not all college football it's only the Power 5 conferences so no group 5 no FCS if it included FCS tra players like Trey Lance would be on this list but it is only going to be Power 5 quarterbacks um, but but with that being said, let's get into looking at this list. And at number 10, I have Arizona State quarterback Jaden Daniels. Now, this one might be a bit surprising to some people, but I actually really think Daniels can be a very good quarterback this year. As a true freshman last year, it was fantastic. Nearly 3,000 yards. 17 touchdowns isn't great, but he was a true freshman, so I think it's fine. And only two interceptions, which is extremely rare, especially from a true freshman. So that's just fantastic. 60.7 completion percentage is definitely pretty good. And then he's a good rusher as well. 355 rushers last year and three touchdowns. I expect him to get better at that this season. Uh, so I, I really expect him to get better at everything this season going into his second year. But he already had not very many flaws. I mean, he's a good rusher. He, he's a good passer. He makes really good decisions. Jane Daniels was really, really good last year. And he's a player I'm really excited to watch this season. Definitely one of the better quarterbacks in the Pac-12. And I actually think Arizona State can be a pretty good team this season. And Daniels, I think, is going to be a very, very big player for them. I, I expect a lot from him. Um, but... I really do think he will be able to uh, get that done this season. Moving on to number nine. At number nine, I have Tanner Morgan from Min uh, Minnesota. Uh, Tanner Morgan is a very, very good quarterback in my opinion. I mean, he was very, very good last year. He hadn't really been good before that, but then last year he just really exploded onto the scene and was fantastic. 3,253 pass yards is really good. 30 touchdowns is great. And 7 interceptions, it's, it's good. It's very good numbers. And then 66% completion percentage. Um, the only reason I'm lower on this list is he is losing some of his favorite receiving targets, but he definitely still has some really, really good ones. So I, I think he should have a really good year. Uh, he's on a very good team as well. He, I, I just think they should have a really good year, uh, and Morgan should have a good year. I just think he's a fantastic player, plays for a very good team, uh, and I have number nine on my top ten quarterbacks in college football list. Moving on to number eight. At number eight, I have Jamie Newman from Georgia. Now, this one might surprise some people because he's a transfer, he's going to his first season with the team, but I actually really like Newman. I think he can actually do a lot. And I know some people are saying he can't really get it done in the big moments. Uh, now he's going to be playing with a better team, with better receivers, with better coaches. He should definitely be a lot better than he was at Wake Forest, and he was pretty good at Wake Forest last year, so... I think Jamie Newman can be pretty good. Uh, he, I, I, I definitely think he can be a very good quarterback. I didn't want to put him higher because, I mean, it's possible he's a Heisman contender, but being a transfer, especially with limited practices, is definitely going to be tough. So I have him lower on this list, uh, but I definitely think he's a fantastic quarterback. Should have a good year. 26 touchdowns last year is good. 11 interceptions. Maybe that's a bit too high, but... He can definitely get that lower at Georgia. And then he's a good rusher as well, over 500 yards and six touchdowns last year. So just a fantastic player uh, overall. He can really get the job done for uh, Georgia this season. I expect him to be pretty good, so I have a number eight. Moving on to number seven. At number seven, I have another SEC quarterback. I have Kyle Trask from Florida. Trask was pretty good last year, really, in his first season as a starter. 2,941 pass yards, 25 touchdowns, seven interceptions, 66.9 completion percentage, and four rushing touchdowns. Uh, and he was really forced into that job. I mean, it wasn't he, Felipe Franks was the week one starter, but uh, Felipe Franks got injured, and then Trask was forced to come in, and he was really, really good. So now that he really knows he's going to be in this job, I think he's going to be a lot better, and I think he will be the best quarterback in the SEC this season. I don't think he's going to be a Heisman contender. I don't really see that, but I see Florida as a pretty good team, um, and Kyle Trask absolutely can be a fantastic quarterback. The problem is, I don't think the receiving targets are the best. I mean, Kyle Pitts is a very good tight end, but I think there, I, I definitely think there are good receiving targets on that team. I'm not saying there's nobody. There absolutely are. But I still think there need to be a few more before you can really have some fantastic numbers and fantastic season. But no matter what, I think it's going to be a very good year for Kyle Trask, and I definitely think he deserves a spot on this top ten list. Moving on to number six, just missing out on the top five. At number six, I have Keaton Slovis, the USC quarterback. Now, Slovis... 
Um, last year was a freshman and was fantastic. Uh, he was forced into that starting job after the starter got injured in week one, and he had 3,500 pass yards, 30 touchdowns, and nine interceptions, and a 71.9 completion percentage. That's really good for a freshman, especially one that wasn't uh, supposed to have the week one starting job. Uh, so... Yeah, if he put up that up that up last season, I expect him to get better this year. I think it's going to be a big year for Keaton Slovis. I mean, in my opinion, USC is a bit overrated, but I don't think Slovis is overrated. I think Slovis is one of the best quarterbacks in college football. He's putting up those fantastic numbers last year. I think he can put up some fantastic numbers again this season. He's just a very, very good player. Not very good rusher, but in the passing game, he's definitely one of the better in college football. So uh, that's why I have him at number six on this list. Moving on into the top five, and at number five, I have Iowa State quarterback Brock Purdy. Now, this one may surprise some people because some people might not think Purdy deserves a spot on this list, but I actually think he's very deserving of it. Nearly 4,000 pass yards last year, which is fantastic. Uh, almost 30 touchdown passes, which is really good, and nine interceptions, which is solid. Uh, and then 65.7 completion percentage. That's also very good. So the passing stats are all really good. You know, maybe a few more touchdowns and a, a few less interceptions would be good. But still, 27 touchdowns and 9 interceptions, that is a very good ratio. And then uh, running, 249 yards and 8 touchdowns. So he's not a run-first type of guy, but he definitely can run when he needs to. Uh, so I think Iowa State's a pretty good team this year, honestly, and Purdy is just a fantastic quarterback. Uh, I was considering putting him one, one spot lower, but I think he's good enough to have the spot on the list. I just think he's a, actually a fantastic uh, quarterback. I think he was great last year. I expect another good season from him. Maybe he can hit 4,000 pass yards again. Uh, maybe not with the shorter season, but still probably 3,000 pass yards. Probably a good amount of touchdowns. Most, I think he can keep a low amount of interceptions again. So, uh, Just a fantastic player. Last season, 35 total touchdowns, over 4,000 yards of offense. Great, great player. Uh, I definitely think he deserves a spot on my list. Moving on to number four. At number four, I have Sam Ellinger from Texas. Uh, so Texas is a team that a lot of people really, really like this year. But I kind of feel like it's this year where... People just ask, is Texas back? Is Texas back? And I don't think Texas is going to be bad this year. But, I mean, if they keep asking that every year and it normally doesn't come true, why this season? Um, but Ellinger is going to be great. I really do think so. I mean, he wasn't playing with the best receiving group last year, wasn't really playing with the best team, and his numbers are just fantastic. 3,663 uh, 3, pass yards is really, really good. There's only a few players in college football who had more than that last year. 32 touchdowns is better than most players. 10 interceptions, you know, it's double digits, may, maybe a bit high, but it's not too high. A uh, 65.2 completion percentage is pr uh, pretty good as well. And then rushing is fantastic as well. 663 r uh, rush yards and seven touchdowns. He was fantastic last year for, for a team with not the best receiving group. He is just a really, really good quarterback, and he's not getting as much, you know. People aren't really, when they think of the top quarterbacks in college football, most of the time, Ellinger is not one of the first that comes to mind, which I don't think is right. I think Ellinger should be one of the first that comes to mind because I think he's a fantastic quarterback. Um, and I think he can be a great NFL quarterback one day uh, because, I mean, if you're putting up these numbers with not the best receiving group, you can definitely do it in the NFL, I think, to be a good player. So uh, he's going to be a very fun player to watch this season. I just think he's extremely talented. And there's some people that are saying Texas is overrated, which I can understand, but I just don't think Sam Ellinger is overrated at all. I think he's a fantastic, fantastic player, and I definitely think he deserves a spot in the top five of this list. Moving on now to the top three, and in third place, just missing out on the top two, I have Sam Howell from North Carolina. Uh, Howell was a freshman last year, and his numbers were unbelievable, especially for a freshman, but just for college football as a whole, unbelievable. 3,641 pass yards, 38 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Uh, so, just for comparison... Trevor Lawrence was considered to be uh, the best quarterback in the ACC last year, considered one of the better quarterbacks in college football. These Sam Howell's stats as a freshman were better than Trevor Lawrence's stats uh, last season. Um, and that 61.4 completion percentage, 
definitely could be better, but, I mean, he was a freshman, so, I mean, I'm not going to say there's any problems there. And then 35 rush yards, not a rusher. He did get a touchdown, but as a passer, he's just fantastic. Definitely one of the best in the nation. And he would do that as a freshman. Imagine what he'll do in his second and in his third season. He's going to be a special player. I really, really do think so. And he's playing with a team. He played with a team that had two wins, and then he put up these numbers. And, I mean, I know it wasn't completely his him that made it. So they had seven wins last year, and he had this many yards because he does have some good receivers. He has some good coaches. But still, he played a part in it. Unbelievable season by him last year. Uh, just fantastic. And I, I really do think he's going to be one of the best quarterbacks in college football. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he wins the Heisman Trophy. I know a lot of people are talking about some other players and not really talking about Sam Howell. But if he put up these numbers as a freshman, he's going to be fantastic this year and going forward. So I think Howell's a great, great player, and I have him at number three. Moving on to number two. Top two, you probably know who they are, and it's really, really hard to decide which one's one and which one's two. But I did end up uh, deciding, and at number two, I'm going to have Trevor Lawrence from Clemson, the other ACC quarterback on this list. I think Lawrence is one of the best quarterbacks in college football. The only reason I have him at number two is because he's losing some of his favorite receiving targets. That's it. I, I, I really do. Uh, that's the only reason why. I mean, last year he was just insane. 3,665 pass yards, 36 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Uh, 65.8 completion percentage is very good. And then as a rusher, he got so much better last year. 563 yards and nine touchdowns. Unbelievable player, really. And even without some of his top receivers, Clemson still has some good receiving targets. And he's still going to put up some really good numbers this season. Uh, but just, uh, he's losing, I believe, his two top receiving targets, maybe even more. But that's the only reason why I have him at, at number two. I definitely think he's deserving of that number one spot. He's just a fantastic player, in my opinion. Just a fantastic, fantastic player. Uh, and I think he should have a great year. Um, and, you know, he was very close to being number one on this list. But at number one, you probably already know who it is. Uh, it's going to be Justin Fields of Ohio State. Fields was very, very good last year. I mean, two years ago, he played for Georgia and really did nothing. And then he transferred to Ohio State, got that starting job, and was just insane. He it blew the the defense opposing defense out of the water. It was just unbelievable. Uh, I mean, three thousand two hundred seventy three passing yards. I mean, it's not the best, but it's definitely not bad. Um, Forty one touchdown passes to three interceptions, and two of those interceptions came in the playoff. One interception in the regular season and forty one touchdown passes. That is unbelievable. 67.2 completion percentage is great as well. And then 484 rush yards and 10 touchdowns. I was a bit surprised about how low his rush yards were. I actually thought he was going to run the ball a lot more. I think we'll see a lot more of him running the ball this year. But just a fantastic all-around player. Uh, and it was really close between him and Lawrence for this number one spot. Um, but he does deserve the number one spot. And sure, Lawrence does as well. But... I mean, Fields, Ohio State has some really good receiving targets. They really recruited that position, and they still have some good guys coming back, like Olave. So, I mean, I just think it's going to be a fantastic year for Fields. Uh, he is currently my Heisman pick, um, but I could also see it being Lawrence or Howell uh, or maybe even Ellinger if Texas really is a good team this year. But I just think Fields is just a fantastic quarterback, and I currently have him as the number one quarterback in college football. Um, so those are my top 10 quarterbacks in college football for this year. Please, in the comment section below, tell me your top 10 quarterbacks. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe for more NFL and college football content. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed And I'll see you guys in the next video.